This is an ASRock Q1900M uh, motherboard. It's got a Celeron processor. Uh, it looks like it's passively cooled. It's got DDR3 memory. This was very cheap considering it's got 8GB of RAM. Um, and what I wanted to see is if you can run a 24 pin motherboard using a 20 pin power supply. According to the internet, <laughs> Google, you can. So I've got this really old 90 watt uh, power supply and um, yeah, it's like from a low end system from many years ago. I want to just see if this actually is possible to use this when it's only got a 20 pin connection. Not SATA, so I'm going to have to um, use an adapter to connect up a SATA drive. Let's connect up all the other things before I actually um, connect the power because this power supply doesn't have a power connector. I mean a power switch. What else do we need? Keyboard and mouse and keyboard and mouse and um, video cable. Okay, so um, yeah, let's plug the power in, find the power switch, which is over here, the power supply switched on, oh, and something's showing up on the screen. Uh, we've gone into the BIOS, Intel Celeron CPU J1900, 2 gigahertz, got 8 gig of RAM, and yeah, let's have a quick look at these um, settings um, because hardware monitor. Um, CPU temperature passively cold, it's no fan. So, yeah, you can power a system. This is a low power system uh, with 20 pin power supply. Google was right. So, um, let's have a look at if we've got a boot drive. Um, F11 for boot menu. Oh, there we go. Booting into Windows. We have our fire up CPU temp. Or rather, core temp. And CPU Z. Got four cores. Getting three hundred and sixty, two point four gigahertz. The 
very low power consumption by the looks of things. Let's just leave it running at 2.3 watts apparently. So we'll just leave this running for a bit, see if the temperature increases noticeably. Um, this power supply that I'm using has a fan, so it's probably moving some air around the area, but there's no sort of um, direct fan on the heatsink. CGR3 running a dual channel, Kingston memory. Looks like a matched pair. Graphics doesn't seem to have installed driver. Um don't know if this has got built-in Wi-Fi. No. Wonder why I thought it did. <laughs> when it clearly doesn't. Let's have a look at Task Manager. All four cars running. Now the next thing to do is to um, find some kind of case and use for this system. That's small and low power. Maximum temperature we've got is uh, 36 so far. It's got a um, chassis fan connector over there, it's got two SATA connections, it's got a few different USB connections, COM1, LPT1, and HC Audio, TPM S1, PCI slots, and then there's another CPU fan connector here. Heat sink, as you can see, doesn't have any active cooling unless you add some. And we've got USB 3, USB 2, HDMI, DVI, and VGA out. There's PS2 ports. It's a fairly basic motherboard. Um, with a fairly low power, power, low performance as well as low power processor and there's two DDR3 RAM slots and as you can see it does work with just a 20 pin power connection what would you use this system for? what would you use a low power quiet system for? let me know in the comments and uh, Thanks for watching.